Great, so just doing a quick um, update on the rabbits, how they're doing so far well, except for Fluffy right here with us. Um, unfortunately, she has developed mastitis. Um, as you can see, her breasts are swollen, so she has not been producing any milk. Well, she's producing milk, but um, she's not breastfeeding, I guess due to discomfort. Um, she lost one kitten this morning. And it kind of confused me as to why. Um, then I took a good look at her and realized that she has developed mastitis. I noticed something funny about her before, but I didn't pay much attention to it because I thought it would just fix itself. But unfortunately not. So what's happening now is that I have to assist her in breastfeeding. So what I would do, I would gently remove her from her hutch. And I'd sit myself comfortable because you're gonna be in this for a long while um, until all the kittens are breastfed successfully. Um, so just make yourself comfortable and you make the dough comfortable as well. And what I normally do is to place the kittens on her. They would go to whichever nipple they want to. So there is really no need for you to put them on a specific nipple. Um, be sure that they are secured properly so that they don't fall off because they can actually die if they fall off, especially if their stomachs are full. Now, this little one right here, stomach is not that full as yet, so I'm just going to turn my round to show you what you need to look for. In their tummy area right here, you'd see the milk um, obvious in their stomach when their tummies are full. It's important that you don't overfeed them. Just as how you would overfeed a child or anybody for that matter. And you'd place them back into the nesting box. I actually have my nesting box right here. Um, I have the fan on and me so that the mosquitoes don't irritate me. And I just place some books over there so that the fur doesn't blow all over the place. She has um, two more kittens in the nesting box to be um, nursed so we're just gonna do that um, for each of them at least for 10 minutes and then we place them back into the hutch now if you find this happening to you you are going to have to assist with breastfeeding until the situation clears up or until they are properly weaned and you don't need to assist in feeding anymore because when they're properly weaned they're able to feed their cells um, they can eat pellets um, whatever else that you give them so I'm going to post in the description some more about mastitis so that you can educate yourselves okay all right